On the bench in front of me is my most recent camera project. It's a Raspberry Pi camera. It's designed around the first generation Raspberry Pi touchscreen. And its purpose is not as a general purpose camera, but as a testing device, a mule, if you will, uh, to try different digital camera projects with a handy screen and mount for the Pi. So let's go through it and see what it does. I'm going to just take it apart for a second. As you can see, it's a device of three parts. The main chassis is just a box to take the Raspberry Pi screen on the front and the Pi 4 is mounted onto the back of it. I put an opening in the side to get at all the ports, another opening here to get at the USB-C port for power. There is a hole in the bottom for a tripod. Uh, I could make that bigger and stick an insert in but um, this isn't a general use camera so it's actually a hole just big enough for the uh, quarter 20 screw to bite into. I have a quarter 20 bolt which I've just used to, to, to make that thread. So this is, if you imagine it like a big and chunky 7 inch tablet. I haven't put space for a battery in there, there is plenty of room if you want to, you can see all manner of batteries in there, because this is designed to be either used on a tripod as a static test item, or else used as a part of a rig where USB-C power is available. On the front of that, or the back, depending on which way you look at it, is simply a back panel with two handles and a big square mount with a hole. It attaches with four screws, just normal self-tapping screws, and it serves just to provide an ergonomic grip and to provide a mounting plate for interchangeable camera plates. Now, this is the business end. There is a 3D printed uh, collar that goes round a Raspberry Pi HQ camera module with a C-mount lens mount. On the back is the enclosure for the back of the camera module and the ribbon cable comes through. It goes through the hole, that screws on top, and then that drops on there having attached the cut cable to the camera. What I've done is I've made a chunky Raspberry Pi HD camera camera. It takes pictures. I unfortunately, for some reason, I couldn't find my C-mount lenses. They're somewhere in a box. So I ended up trying it with a an M42 lens on a C-mount adapter, which gives ridiculous telephoto for a 50mm. This is just an ordinary 50mm kit lens for a practical camera. And on a tiny little sensor on the Raspberry Pi camera, it gives ridiculous zoom in, but it's enough to test the thing. The real reason for making this is not to make a Raspberry Pi HQ camera, though it works very well. It's actually to make a device on which I can attach other cameras. So, for instance, I can make a plate for this and 3D print any other kind of camera mount on the front of it. That's very powerful because I have other camera projects and I can easily test them with this. And to show you exactly what type of camera I want to test with it, here you get a preview of a upcoming Jenny's Bench project. This is something I've been working on for a little while. It's a turret mount for M12 lenses. You saw me play with M12 lenses with my uh, awful little toy camera uh, in a previous video. Well, I've always found this lens system to be quite interesting because they're dirt cheap and you can do a lot with them. So. I've made a turret, allowing you to easily switch between them. It's a bit silly, but it's fun. This is an early prototype, has a Raspberry Pi Zero on the back. And the idea is that I will make one of these panels with this mechanism in the middle of it and stick it on this camera to test it. So that's going to be the subject of my next video, probably.
So, you hook up a USB-C power supply and your Raspberry Pi now boots into Raspberry Pi OS, which I will always stumble over not calling Raspbian. So give it a sec, we'll be in the desktop. And there we are, that's Raspberry Pi OS. I'm going to pop a lens on the front. I couldn't find my trusty C-mount lenses when I uh, built this thing. They're in a box somewhere. So I've got a, an M42 50mm kit lens from a Practica camera on an adapter. It gives ridiculous levels of zoom, but it did allow me to test the thing. There we go. And if I pull out my Bluetooth keyboard, I can then fire up a terminal and I can open a camera GUI. And here we are. This is Gordon 999's RPICAM GUI. Um, it's available on his GitHub repository, which I will link below. And it's, as its name suggests, a fairly comprehensive GUI for the Raspberry Pi camera. If I take the lens mount, sorry, the lens cover even off, I should be able to focus in on something real close. And as you can see, it's, it's a, have I focused on something? It's too close probably to focus on the things on my desk. Oh boy, this is horrible. There we go. You can just about see it focusing in on something on my desk. It's ridiculous levels of zoom. And this is not a practical lens to use day to day with this camera, but at least it shows it working. So there we go. That's my Raspberry Pi based mule camera for testing different camera projects. It's not perfect. I quite like the ergonomics. It doesn't have a battery for anybody who wants a battery in their camera, but that should be easy to engineer in. To be honest, any Python interface for the camera on the Raspberry Pi is always a bit slow. This one's really, really good, but it suffers as my own attempts did from being slow. What else can I say about it? It actually makes a half decent, useful little computer, to be honest. I've uh, actually edited Hackaday from this thing just to see if I could. There's a new version of the Raspberry Pi screen has come out. I don't have one. It's quite expensive. If I end up getting one, I'll probably produce a re-engineered version of this to take the new screen. But for now, for my purposes, this older version of the Raspberry Pi screen is fine. If you want to build one of these yourself um, on my GitHub, which is linked below, uh, I've put up the OpenSCAD files. I haven't put up SDLs. This is very much a test camera for evaluating camera configurations and modules rather than a camera I'm intending you to go out and use. You're welcome to run OpenSCAD and print out the different bits and build one yourself, but I'm not pushing this as the camera you should use with your Pi. It's the camera I'm using with my Pi for my purposes. Anyway, there it is. This is my Raspberry Pi 7-inch screen mule camera. Enjoy this video? Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, but also support the non-profit I'm part of, TransRescue. We get transgender people like me out of dangerous and dodgy places worldwide. Thank you very much.